All right, so this is a quick overview of the Quiz Maker template, um, and I just want to show you what um, you get with uh, the template, and then uh, show you a couple of bits of ways on how you can actually configure the the app. All right, so when you start the app, um, actually when you download the app, you, you probably get a list of files in a zip file. So basically, what you have is uh, you have a couple, um, the design folder, which has the Photoshop for the iPhone version, and a documentation note right which links you to a website which is something that you probably want to take a look at this is where any questions you have should be answered by this document right if you have any more questions just, just let me know but then I'll just probably walk you through the the app for now right okay so when you start you get a start screen for the iPhone and then you tap on start you're gonna have like a stats view where you can get information about how many tests or quizzes has been taken, the last call, a graph with um, the last 15 scores for example. So in this case I've only had done two tests or two quizzes in this in this app. And then you have two buttons here, you can either start or um, choose the topics which you want, right? So here we have two topics, in my case sex and the city and flags, which uh, does actually sound like two totally different quizzes, but then that's what we have as a couple of samples. So you can select each one or select one or both and decide to start um, the quiz. You can configure the number of topics there are, and um, I'll show you after that in, in a sec. So if I tap on start here, then it shows me um, the the, um, the first screen for the test, right? Okay, so then I can actually select this an answer and then tap on next. Then if my answer is wrong, then it kind then the app kind of blurs out or makes the wrong answers kind of invisible and then shows me the correct answers which I think is kind of cool if you were doing this on, on the device actually this will actually vibrate and then giving you that instant gratification that yeah okay I got the answer wrong or it's correct and then you can continue you can tap on continue here then this is a new under question Smith's real name was Jerry true or false that's true I don't know if you've heard the sound it played a sound when it, when it was true next one is identify the flag of France so the cool thing about this also is um, we have questions we have yeah, we are able to add images to the answers and the question as well, which I think is kind of cool. So if I tap on the flag of France, I think that's it. Then I can go next, and then we're done. And then here you can see my results, right? I, I got 67%. Two out of three answers were correct. So this is actually information telling people, or telling me that about what I've just done. So that's actually very cool, I think, as well. We have a button here where you can challenge friends on Game Center. Um, I don't have Game Center enabled, but then if you read the document, out, you can learn how to enable Game Center. So basically, you can challenge friends, you can get notices when friends beat your scores, or for example. Um, so which I think is kind of cool and can actually bring a lot of virality into your app. Another button we, which we have here, under screen of view, which we have is called the review screen, where you can actually see all the questions which you answered and then review your answers whether they were right or wrong so that one was wrong then the app shows me the correct then the app shows me the correct answer which is that one and that was what i just selected and then of course for the right answers as well okay so i'm guessing so that's it for for showing you how the app works i'm guessing you probably want to know how to implement the uh, or how to put in your own questions into the app so Cool thing that we have here is we've created like a new um, an app here called the Quiz File Creator, which you can type in your own questions, and then it will create a JSON file for you. If you're happy to edit JSON, you're, you're good to go. You can actually do that uh, manually yourself, right? But then if you can't, this is what we have here, right? So you can type your questions here. So I can say question one, add an explanation, and I can add a couple of answers to the questions here. So that's question one has four answers. I can say answer one, answer two, answer three and answer four and then I can say that answer three is the correct answer right and I can add a new question so go in here and say what is the capital of um, let's say France right okay and then I can add more questions more answers here I can say this Paris, and I could say, tell me, it's a, it's another city in France, okay, Bordeaux is another city in France, 
and let's say um, Munich. Munich is not in France, but then that works fine. And then the answer, of course, is Paris, right? Uh, which is this one. So I can now go and say Paris is my correct answer. And then I can save that to a file. So let's save this in uh, my scratch. And I call that new.json, right? Click on save. So all I now need to go is I'm um, going to my app. I can copy this into the folder where my template is, but then let me just quickly do that so I don't have to waste time. So I can say add files to quiz app, look for where it is. I think it's in the scratch folder. And then I click on add. Okay, so now we have, um, so that's the JSON file. So that's what it created for me, right? And um, I can now go into my configuration, the P list. This is where everything will be configured. I can show you a couple of other configurations later, but then for now, let me give you, show you how I can add in new questions, right? So now I have the questions data. So I can add a new entry in there, right? And I say, call that new. You can have an image for your topics as well, but for now I'll do it without the image. And then I type in new.json, and then I'll just run this app and see what shows up. Okay, so we have the app now. So right now if I actually select my topics, you can see that I have my new topic in there. So if I select that one and actually want to start the question, um, you can remember the first one which I typed in was just question, answer, 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 which actually doesn't make any sense, but then that works anyways. And then the next one is what is the capital of France, and then remember the answer was Paris. Okay, okay. so now that's a correct answer for both, and uh, we can see that I answered both questions correctly. Okay, so let's go back to, so if we go back to um, our configuration file, um, you can see that there are other things that we can configure here. The main thing that you can do to make your app unique is to configure the background and the font, right? So here we have um, the settings for the main background. So if you go into our resources folder here, we have included a lot of couple of backgrounds which you can already use. Um, I like the Amazonas, the Amazonas background. Okay, so if I go in here and I change that to Amazonas, which is basically the name of the background in here, right? That's a green one. You don't need to add the PNG, you just type the name of the file itself. And then if I change these, um, then if I change the font, I can change the main font to Avenir. And then the bold font to Avenir Black or Heavy, I think Heavy is a good one. You can find um, other fonts that are available um, by default on iOS if you go to iosfonts.com. But of course, take a look at the document so you can, um, the configuration document here. That actually explains how you can do a lot of all the other configurations. So if I stop this now and then I try to run it again, and we can see a couple of changes in our, in our app. So you see now we have a new app with a new background and it looks really nice and different, right? We've got a couple more backgrounds. You can add your own background if you want to and then um, get that up and running. Okay, so there are other things that you can configure here which I don't really want to go into right now, but then, as I said, the best place to start is to go into the documentation and then you can see how you can play around with the settings in here. So that's the demo of the Quiz App Quiz Maker template. Um, hope you like it. And I hope you're actually going to be able to buy and then get your quiz up, up in the App Store today. And um, if you have any questions, just send me an email at tope at appdesignport.com. Thank you.